Hello, you're watching On The Road, but today we're very much off the road, aren't we, Adamo? Yeah, we are. We're back in Optus <laughs> HQ, recharging the batteries, Michelle. Yeah. Because we've been everywhere. People might have joined in this show a little bit late. We've been Adelaide, Perth, Brisbane. Where else? Melbourne. Melbourne. Sydney. Perth, again, at the start of pre-season. Yeah, yeah. We've been everywhere, so we need to just come back home, recharge the batteries here at Optus HQ, and we're going to give you guys a little sneak peek, because there is, if you could see in the screen behind us... There's the a lot happening. Kelly Summers putting a clinic on, as always... There's a broadcast happening right now, so you guys are going to get a little sneak peek in the studio, see how it all goes, and then who knows, maybe we'll go over to the kitchen, show them where the magic happens. And yeah, show we'll them, take them around show them everywhere. Show the unsung heroes here at Optus Sport. Yeah, exactly. The people behind the camera as well. But let's take you through what's going on here. So everything's being controlled, and you can see through those screens there. So oh, we're there as well. Yeah, we're there at the, at the bottom. So And if there's any uh, crosses happening that you know are made to look live, but they're pre-recorded because for whatever reason, getting fans and all that, well, they come through here. Also pitch side crosses as well. Right now we can see the lineup for the Columbia Jamaica game. We can see also Lorne, uh, uh, the Jamaica coach speaking there at the bottom. So everything comes through there. And then you can just watch the football on, on the big screen. It's not a bad place got to it work. Because you can just park up here, you can watch the football. There's always, there's always something, there's always a ball getting kicked here. There's exactly. football from all over the world on these big screens with there's Claude's and the Daily Kickoff crew as well, Big Ian Wright, who yeah. you spoke to today. Yeah, we'll get to that later. We'll, we have a grab for you later. Uh, that was pretty cool this morning. We He's were at the, the man. Ian Wright yeah. is so cool. He is so cool. We were at the the Sam Kerr pitch, which has been launched by EA Sports. for the, You can play in this FIFA and the next EA Sports FC as well. Well, if you're here in Sydney or if you, you make the trip to Sydney, to Auburn, that's where it is. You could play it physically as well, but then also virtually. But Ian Wright, cool, he was cool. cool guy. He was very cool. We'll, we'll hear from him later, but let's talk about the Matildas. Let's do it. We, we are through to the quarterfinal. Oh, my God. <laughs> and let me just say, you got your prediction half right. Half right. I was on track. So I had Caitlin Ford, 1-0. Mm -hmm. She scored the first goal. I'm thinking we might be on here, but you could tell once we scored that first goal, yeah. another goal was coming, and we needed it just to ice the game. Yeah, yeah. But you got her. yeah, I want to say everyone we got on, everyone got two nil. Even Cameron all, ball. Yeah, yeah. We all said two nil, and then by the end of it, I was like, oh, I was always confident that we were going to beat Denmark. That was the always one. That confident. was that was that one which they need to get to the quarterfinal because Denmark first 10, 15 minutes they looked alright. Benil Harder had a couple chances and. Mm. Who knows if they convert that, it's a different game. But we deserve to win. I feel like that's kind of the, always the story for Denmark. If no, only they could have. Not then, very inspiring. No, no, no. I think, yeah, the Matildas put on a good performance. It was a good performance. Yeah. It wasn't an amazing performance. No, it wasn't Canada. It wasn't that Canada. And it, but you can't have that every single game. It was game. a different type of game yeah. as well. It wasn't like the Canada game. It wasn't as open. Yeah. And it was clinical, Different opponent though. as well. Exactly. It was di that Mary Fowler, Caitlin Ford. Oh, my God. The connection. That pass. Insane from Mary Fowler. So Insane. good. And then the finish as well. The touch, the pace. That poor old right back would, would be having nightmares of Caitlin yeah, Ford because yeah. she was terrorising her. She nutmegged the that, keeper oh, as well. Nutmeg. She was on yeah. fire. And getting the respect that she deserves because it's been a frustrating tournament for her. But she's she really... Out of position. Yeah. Then now you saw it in the Canada game. She played on the left. Emily Van Egmont as well. Such a tidy player. So... Just does the, the, the basics right. It just holds yeah. the ball up well. And it's been a great addition by Tony G, who is the G at the moment. He's the man. <laughs> He's he is. After being on the inferno seat, there was no man under more pressure than like him. I feel like he had to be under that pressure. But just, just on Ford, she's really come to life now. She has. Yeah, Playing we, in a natural position, we, you we, can tell. Yeah, we always knew that she had that. But it was a bit of a slow start in the first couple of games. But now, oh my God, she thrived last night. She was on fire. The finish, and not making the keeper as well. And Stadium Australia went nuts. Yeah, we tell us, because you were there. I, I was back here in the studio. Back but here putting a clinic on. <laughs> a little live clinic. But we were there. Me and cameraman Paul were there. Parked up in the media seats. It was nice. Got yeah. a nice view of the nice whole view. pitch. Nice so, in the, in the middle, right? we were complaining about. They, they said it wasn't loud enough. I don't know where that's I was. It, that's it was what loud. I heard uh, Catherine Canooley was saying earlier, that it should have been not louder. It it's Stadium Australia is built for the Olympics. Mm. It's not very acoustic. It goes that okay. way because it had a track in the middle when it was built. So everything goes that. So noise just leaves it. Whereas yeah. you go to 
Sydney Football Stadium. I was going to say the A word. <laughs> you go to the Sydney Football Stadium, and it's very acoustic. You know, I've, I've seen I've seen games that were ten thousand. The sound like forty because it's just so everything's so tight and the sound stays there. I actually think it was louder than maybe what it sounded like on okay. TV. People they tried. We actually ran into a bunch of Matilda's ultras. Oh, did you? We oh, did, the and they, were, they, they had some chance up their sleeves as well. Oh Not yeah, because you've, you've been speaking about that that we don't have enough chance. Don't have enough. You know, the Aussie, 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 G's people up, but it's not a football chance. Oh, well, I saw you doing it. The I cross know, you know what's so funny is I did a live cross, and I've been talking. <laughs> We can't have that. About Aussie, 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 oi, oi, oi. So I get this big group of fans, and they were great. There's about 50 of them. And you know, once you get a camera, on, everyone, it's like a flight yeah, to yeah. a light. Everyone comes, everyone was really cheap. I'm like, all right, guys, at the end of this, let's do a chant. And then they all just go, Aussie, 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 oi, oi, oi. And I'm like, okay. You're whatever. like, I've got to continue they were happy right And it was loud, and it turned out great. But we need something. We need like an ole, 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 or yeah. surely. We can Championess. Championess. <laughs> well, we'll be singing that in about a week and a half. Yeah, I'm confident. I, th- I think so. I actually tweeted that and some people were like, yeah. And then others are saying, no, you're jinxing us. I'm like, you've got to have that belief. Well, just I do can- this. Just, not, just exactly. knock on table every time, knock on head. Be there. Yeah. yeah. And I mean, like, if you don't believe, you're not going to get anywhere. Well, going into the tournament, this was, you, would you say the bare minimum was quarterfinal? Like, what what yes. was the minimum expectation for you? And you guys at home, please comment, let us know. But it was... At- Minimum quarterfinal. quarterfinal. Well, the thing is, because the Matildas have reached the quarterfinals before, so this isn't new territory. It's making it to the semis. I feel like that's because then you get to you want to extend the World Cup fever for as long as possible. Getting to the semi, mm. not that we're going to have to go there, but then you get the third place game as well. So you essentially are there for the whole tournament. Yeah, exactly. We want that. Yeah, I think definitely. We can go all the way. The, the, the way I the draw is opening up, we're going to speak about them a little bit later. England looked unimpressive. They. Yeah. Flat. Nigeria very, really like very pushed beatable. them. Yeah. They're very beatable. Yeah, yeah. I'm I'm growing more and more confident. Especially I feel, with I feel Lauren like James, the players who are... might be missing the rest of the tournament after a David exactly. Beckham 98 <laughs> oh my God. brain snap. Jeez, I believe after we I, I think we spent 10 minutes yesterday on our show talking about how good she is, and yeah. she is. And she is. She, she, had is. A, she had a moment. But maybe it's that immaturity. Yeah. She's still very young. Oh, let's let's stay on the Matildas. That's you right. spoke you spoke about Tony G. You said he's such a G. Oh my God. He was almost in tears last night. The stadium, thousands of people are watching all across the country about tonight's performance, about their support. I get emotional. I really do. The support we feel is, wow, thank you. Thank you. And tomorrow, obviously, France are playing uh, against Morocco. Are you be watching it? Right now, the only thing I focus <laughs> on is recovery and our game, but probably keep half an eye on it. But I'm going to download and analyze this game first. Congratulations. Enjoy the night. Thank you. Well, Schwartzy has really seen all the emotions. He's seen Tony G laughing, <laughs> crying, angry. Like, what's he doing to the man? <laughs> he brings the best out in him. Yeah, he brings does. the best out the in Tony best G and for the worst. content. <laughs> he always knows how to get good content out of Tony G. That, that's what right. a legend Schwartzy is as well. Mm. Having him on the show yesterday. Oh, yeah, he so was so good. Thanks to Schwartzy and Kat for, for joining yeah, us that yesterday. Was a, that was a goat move by them coming on the show. Yeah, and yeah. Schwartzy is just so chill. Even... We said it. I, I, I had to. I had to address that 2014, the, the Steven Gerrard slip so game. Bad. And he did. He, 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 he gave and me in the, detail as well. the insight of the back. Jose Mourinho yeah. masterclass. Yeah. Well, let's talk about Sam Kerr. She finally got some minutes. She did. But Thoughts. there was a scare there for was. a moment what that you, she had gone down. What do you think? Because we were 2 nil up at that stage. Mm-hmm. So do you think that Tony G... My only... The reason why I think he's put her on is because the plan will be to start her in the next game. Like, is it a she looks good? You know, she, she, there was a couple of touches that the step over. Like, yeah, she and sharp. she was she was running. She the wasn't like limping with around that, or anything. That little stanky leg she did yeah. was scary. Yeah, that was Lucky scary. She got up and she Everyone was okay. freaked out. Tony G the most. He was like, "What have I done?" <laughs> Can you imagine? That? Thankfully, <laughs> nothing no, no. happened. But she did look sharp and she looked good. Yeah. Do you think she starts the next game? Is that the plan? Or do you maybe. think maybe it's maybe it's because she had what 15 minutes and the next goal was maybe half an hour yeah. and then start. You would think that hopefully that's how they do it, but yeah, I, I still don't see her starting. Remember, I asked Schwartz yesterday. I was like, "If we're one 0 up, do you think she'll come on?" He was like, "No, no, no. It's only if we're one, we'll yeah, one 0 down." What we all but thought, and then especially when the second goal, cause she was warming up. Mm. Then the second goal went in, and it almost looked like she was warming down. Uh, yeah. And then she came on. She wanted to apparently. She said, "I'm playing." Of course, no matter what. It's a World and Cup. Yeah. It's a World Cup. And she wanted to get on, and she. She looked the good though. She, she looked. looked she looked she good. Little, yeah, slip, but that can happen to anyone. It was, yeah. Let's hear from her on how she found the game. 
Yeah, it was obviously a relief on a personal level, but it felt amazing. The girls have been absolutely smashing it the last few games, and um, to join them on the pitch finally after they've, um, you know, been doing all the work, it, it was an amazing feeling for me. And um, they've actually absolutely smashed it the last few games. Yeah, I mean they've they've all done so well and um, dealt with so much. So I think you know as a team we're all really proud. But that's what teams are for. You know, it's a team effort, and everyone's dug deep. And um, this is only the beginning. We've got much more to give. You're about to be on Come right on. now. <laughs> Sorry, we just had Amy Duggan walk past. Just cruising through. Yeah, she wants to get dressed first and then she'll come say hi, I'm sure. <laughs> uh, on Sam Kerr, obviously, as she said, it was an amazing feeling to get out there and she just wanted to so badly. And of course you would. I mean, it's a competitiveness in her. This is what an athlete a football player prepares for their entire lives to be able to play oh, at a World Cup in front of the, your home crowd. It was the perfect cherry on top of that game as well because Tilly's fever is taking over Australia. We've all got it. We've all been diagnosed with it now. And we, had the <laughs> little, we had the little stumble in that second game. Mm. We, we've been dealt a can couple I, L's. Sam Kerr's injury. Yeah. Just on that, Emily Gelnick said this morning when we were at the EA Sports event that the Nigeria loss was a blessing in disguise. Yeah, yeah. And that footballers get it. What do you think about that? It's probably the wake-up call. Yeah, yeah. It was the wake-up call probably that the team needed, and definitely Tony G. I think because since then he hasn't gotten he he absolutely massacred that game tactically. <laughs> he and he'll, he'll say that he didn't, but he did. Yeah. And that's fine. Not every manager's gonna. Not every man. Even Jurgen Klopp and all that they all get yeah, it wrong. Yeah, they don't. He did. Get maybe it right. the team needed it as a wake-up call because we thought, even though it was a tough group, a lot of Australians, well, we thought we we're gonna cruise out of that group, yeah. and we needed a wake-up call. Also, a wake-up call that women's football is has progressed so far. Look how far, look how close Nigeria were to knocking out England. I know. And since then, he's got it spot on. He finally worked out his team because he switched out. He switched around formations. He went back to his 4-4-2. Van Egmont is in there now. Now he's got the selection headache that you dream of as a manager. Yeah, yeah. Which is, this team is humming. And then you get the best strike in the world, which is yeah. what we were at the... Look, it's the goats Here we go. in they're, action. <laughs> they're, they're trying to go through incognito. These yeah. guys are the undercover goats of off the sport. <laughs> And if someone asked, is it about Jono that asked Ian Wright, I don't know who he was, and he goes, oh, do you think it's bad that Sam Kerr's back from injury now because the team's doing so well? She could disrupt that. Ian Wright looked at this guy square in the face. He goes, you mad? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, my God. So we playing so well. I think it was, I, I agree with her. I think it was the the wake-up call that everyone needed. And yeah. now it feels even better. Like these, these wins feel even sweeter, Michelle, because we're almost on the verge of the Cropping biggest out. disaster. Yeah. It would have been a disaster. You savour it so much more. And I feel like we needed that sort of pressure. I think the players and Tony G more than anyone needed that sort of pressure because if we would have cruised through, I think it would have been taken for granted. And then you maybe run into a team like like you have like an England situation where you get done on penalties. Exactly, or... you don't want that in knockout football. You'd rather have that in the group stage where you can control it more. And I think, yeah, I think it was a blessing in disguise because since then they've thrived on that pressure. They now know how to deal with that pressure. Whereas if it would have come later in the tournament, then... Who knows if you would have been able to deal with it and then you're in a yeah. situation where if you lose, you're out. Yeah, Whereas... or even that last group stage match. Imagine if it would have happened then or... I don't know. Anyway, so... Let's talk about you and the fans. How were they before the game? Because before, you got amongst them, right? Yeah, before the game, they were great. I love to see it. it was just, every age, every demographic was there. There were kids that were this big that could hardly walk that were carrying Matilda's signs, and everyone had Tilly's fever. It was on for young and old, literally. There were old people, anyone. young people, anyone. <laughs> the second we got the camera out as well, everyone just flocked to us. We got some great... Uh, there's a viral photo going around of... Have you seen that Matilda's fan? The one with the sign that said, I sold my Taylor Swift tickets. No, I haven't uh, seen to be that, here. actually. And we found it. Oh. <laughs> Are we about to see that now? Yeah. Okay, let's take a look. It is absolute scenes here at the front of the stadium. The Matildas have done it. You want to know how big this is? This young girl here, I gave up Taylor Swift tickets for the Matildas. That's how much this means. <laughs> How are you feeling right now? This surely is better than a Taylor Swift concert. A hundred percent, definitely worth it. <laughs> All the way, Taylor Swift out of the blue now, go away. Matilda's off. Yeah, I love it. <laughs> Caitlin Ford, Mary Fowler. Wow, what a combination, like butter and Vegemite. Guys, how are we feeling when that first goal went in? Oh, it's just amazing. All I could feel was adrenaline. New England Australia would win. I love it, guys. I love that adrenaline. Now, this is a silly question, 
but can the Matildas go all the way? Everyone is believing, but that girl's voice. Oh my it was so good, and everyone laughed as well. But it was like a nice laugh. Like yeah. everyone just loved it. it She's was... not the only one to have lost her voice. So this morning, we saw a lot of people that were struggling with their Emily voices. Emily was one of them. Yeah. She lost it. I've lost it three or four times in this tournament as well. And we're speaking. People might be wondering, like we're speaking very softly. It's because there's a TV production. I was just looking. Look at look at this BTS. How good's this? Yeah. Are we in the break now? <laughs> Oh, okay, we're going to give you right, guys, a little insight. Exclusive Adama's insight. Gonna go. Bang. Let's go. All right, guys, follow me, follow me. Here we go, guys, follow me. Look at this all-star lineup that we have. This is where the magic happens. These, were, these are the real MVPs. These guys with the headsets on, they're the real MVPs. They got the hard job. We have the easy job. Look at this lineup. World Cup winners, Matildas, and, of course, Kelly Summers. The magician. Here we go. Cat, quick question I'm going to ask you. You're getting a canola, you can only pick one flavour. Vanilla, chocolate, ricotta. You can only pick one, the rest get wiped off the planet. You're going to hate me and I'm going to run as I say this. Ricotta, I'm going to rank them from worst to best. Ricotta worst, chocolate second, vanilla first. I'm going to leave you with that. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Good luck, guys. Keep smashing it. I knew that would fire up any Italian, that list right there. But then you got an exclusive look. And you know what? Come in, Paul, you feeling good? Let's go, we're gonna go to the kitchen now. Thank you, Gio. We're gonna go to the kitchen, we're gonna let Michelle have a nice little break. Computers, these are the, the chefs, everyone's chopping stuff up. More exclusive access here, guys. My producer probably didn't know I could speak this softly. Here we go, here are the undercover goats right here. These are the master chefs in here, guys. The people chopping up the content that you guys get on YouTube, on your socials, these guys, like our good friend Don here, are the real MVP. Hello, mate. Having a good tournament? So good. What are you chopping up at the moment? It's Bunny Shaw. Oh, Bunny Shaw. She's our favourite. Give us a prediction. Jamaica, can they do it? I think Colombia. Yeah. yeah. I think Caicedo will score. Yeah, put your money on Caicedo, I think. This guy was telling me before, I don't want to be on camera. He's a natural. He's got the high fade as well. Absolute clinic from you, man. Clinic. All right, let's take you over to the kitchen. I've had a few jobs, guys, and let me say, I've never worked with a kitchen this good. Take a look at this, it's gonna blow your mind. We've got some live dishes getting washed right here. Guys, you're live right now on YouTube, just to let you know. See, yeah, yeah, you're live. This is it, this is, this is where the magic happens. Come take a look at this. Oh, you know, this blew my mind. First day I ever worked here, I couldn't believe this. Hot water, bang. Click of a button. How good is that, Paul? What do you have your tea with, Paul? Milk? Milk, sugar? Oh, oat milk with a tea? You, you, you've lost the plot. Melbourne's really claimed you. Let's have a look in the fridge. Look at this. Lots of Chobani. If you're lactose intolerant, you'd be in trouble here. Chobani, some meals as well. They look after their staff here at Optus. All right, let's go, Paul. It's making me hungry just looking at it. A couple of goats on the wall. Messi, Schwarzer, Kuehl. Alex Morgan. See you later, USA. Ooh, look at that. Bit of Don Diego the goat. Pele as well. All right, let's go, let's go. It's like Chloe's over there. <laughs> Chloe, come join us. She's hiding from us. Who's hiding? Chloe, Where? Also. come on. Come on, Chloe. Come on. <laughs> Chloe, come on. I've got a bone to pick with you as well. You yeah, did something that was, was inexcusable, was okay? That? PKs? It's a PK. <laughs> I got an American wife. Come on. Okay, but come on. Like that's when you now can like you can exert that like you can put your flavour on it now. PKs, no. Come on. It's the, you know us Aussies. We love to shorten everything. Exactly. So it's a pen. Are you taking? Okay. It? You're right. You're right. You're right. No, you're right. It's okay. Look, you're doing an amazing job. I want you to know that you're doing a great you're job. You're doing great, but you're Thank also you. doing. No, 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 just PKs. Let's leave that in America, please. Okay. Promise? Pens. Pens. Pens, Pens from See, now on. Take, I just, take, I'll just, just think of you every time I say you, it now, thank okay? You, please, thank yeah. you. You're doing a great job, though. Appreciate By the way, Appreciate give me a prediction. You know I like predictions. Okay, well, how about today's games? I'm going to ask you about the Matildas. Yeah, okay. Colombia, Jamaica. Ooh, Jamaica. I think so, too. Yes. Yeah, I like it. I like, like it, okay? France, Morocco. Can Morocco do it? Look, I've been watching them. I went back this morning when I was at the coffee shop. I just think. 
brands are too good. Yeah. I mean, that would be the upset. I'll be the biggest upset. It'd be insane. More, more than the US, I reckon. Um, if that was to happen tonight, but I guess we'll just have to wait and see. Australia, France. You worried about France or? Oh, if they go through, of course. Yeah. Um, look, if the girls keep playing like they did last night, then World champions. I am, I'm, I'm not stressed at all. I love it. I love it. <laughs> I'll, oh, be, okay. I'll be I'll be having my chippy party. I'll be stressless. I'll be up uh, watching on. Enjoy your green apple, okay? And keep doing great things. Just did no you, more PK. Did you show the the bin over there with all the little Krispy Kreme donut boxes? Because um, I looked for some, and this is all I got. So you got to get in here me? early. You got to. I got in here too late. I got here about three hours ago. All gone. Yeah, look, I'm just trying to be the athlete that I that I am. You know. That's all okay, Krispy Kreme. What's the original? Yeah, there's no question. There's no question. It's only original. What about the straw? You know the strawberry jam one. That's a nice one too. Okay, it's not bad. Big but strawberry jam person, o- but you're talking about yeah, yeah, Krispy Kreme. That's the only donut you can get, okay? Anywhere else, you can get the jam donut. Beautiful. All right, ciao. Ciao. <laughs> this is rogue, guys. Loving it. All right, let's go. Let's keep going. I think we've got to join Michelle now. Michelle, we've, we've been everywhere. These guys got an absolute treat. Oh, that was amazing. Chloe's funny, isn't she? Chloe is funny. She was trying to hide from us, but we got yeah, her yeah, yeah. yeah, And yeah. I had to. I had a bone yeah, to pick with her. Yeah, that was but good. You can never <laughs> say, like, you can never say, I don't say things on camera that I wouldn't say to them. Because when I said, I'm, I'm going to get Schwartzy, I'm going to ask him about That's the true. You I have said, kept your word I on said, everything. I said, with Gozo, I'm going to bone to pick with her for PKs. And to be fair, she, had a, she does have an American wife, so that might make sense. It does rub, and she, do, she has played in the US as well. She has, there but is you've got to rub off on them. You've yeah, got, exactly. You've got to teach America. them the right terminology. What do you guys think in the comments? Any PKs? And shout out to our cameraman, Paul. As well, the big guy is on his last legs. <laughs> he, he gets the least amount of sleep out of all of us. And seriously, he he's putting an absolute clinic on. Any comments coming through? Yeah, look, it's penalty not pink. <laughs> I think everyone can agree it's penalty. Everyone. A bit of love for Jamaica as well. I'm not feeling confident about Jamaica tonight. You know, we, we were discussing this just in there in the production room. And we were like, I could see it going either way very easily. Yeah, and a couple of people appreciating the tour. Vishal, hey buddy, thanks for travelling to be the entire Optus Sports studio. Yeah, West Ham shirt, yeah, Strip Bear, Don, big West Ham fan. Yeah, he is. He absolutely loves it. Lol at this backstage look. Yeah, Matt, you're getting, you're ne- like, what other show? What other show? Gives you this sort gives of access. Gives you this type of access. And like, if you're, okay, what I loved before is you had a bit of like, behind the scenes, Adriano De Monte was having a little swig of water. It was great. It was great. <laughs> That's what you want. Here's one. I saw this one. This was at the very start. Someone said, I don't know where it's gone now. How about give some Nigeria some credit? Let's talk. Yes, Let's okay, talk Nigeria. England. Let's get our heads back in the okay, game now. Okay, on that, Ashley Pumtree from Nigeria was saying that she's sick of these stereotypes that Af- the African teams are only fast and they've got the speed is like the only thing that they've got. And she was saying that they have to be given so much more credit for their tactical prowess now. For sure, I think as well the way... South Africa and Nigeria, especially the way they play. Like, you just think of them. Yeah, you think of them as quick and mm. flair and all these stereotypes that you mm. have with African football. But so much more than that. Technically, particularly the Nigeria Australia game, we we were out coached mm. and we we got out coached and we got out played. Yeah. And in that game, we were, Cameron Paul and I were in a media room. And we're the only people. I, I have a bit of an English connection. My stepdad's from the UK, so I want I want to see them go far. My girlfriend's also half English. We were the only people cheering for England. Everyone in this media room was going for Nigeria. And watching that game, especially with a woman down, they were hanging on. Like they, they, they five they more looked, minutes and they that game. Looks like they were going to go five out. Five more minutes and that, and they were going out. Yeah, yeah. For sure. And the crazy thing is, Oshwala started off the bench. Yeah, she did too. So they, I, I, it's actually scary to think as well. It's a confirmed 2027s in South Africa doing this World Cup. Oh, is it? I believe so. Has so it been given away? We're gonna, or are they just a favourite for that, South Africa? We're fact check that right now. Okay. 2027 Women's World While you're doing that, let's hear it from Serena Wiegmann on... She was stressing yesterday. Yes, on last night's win for them. Oh, well, it was just such a quick moment and I don't, I don't even know what really happened. You know, it's such a, it's a game where the emotions are really high, where the intensity is so high and it's just a split second that things happen. Then she got that rare card. Um, I haven't seen it, I haven't seen it back yet. Um, but th- those things sometimes, like, that's also experience. Huge sigh of relief for her. Big Massive. We were talking about Australia, how they got that wake up call early. Maybe that's what England needed. Yeah. Maybe, maybe they needed that because their quarter 
of the draw anyway. Out, if you if you get all the four quarters, so I can do my math. Yeah, four quarters, <laughs> bang, bang, bang. Our quarter, as in Australia, mm. Japan, Spain's with the Netherlands and England's. You'd say they have the the, the easiest on paper. Mm. Anyway, so maybe they needed a tough 120 minutes, holding on for their life. Maybe. It would have been. It would have been a beautiful story with Nigeria, but I would have hated to have seen England go just because they're so well supported in Australia. So every the second person, is definitely where, there. where I live, every second person's from the UK. Yeah, yeah, that's so the same as me. Bondi. Big expat <laughs> community, and here we go. Oh, I don't know how. Routers.com awarding South Africa the hosting rights for the 2027. Is it confirmed, or is it? Are they just a front runner for yeah, it? Yeah, let's have a look. 2027 host selection. Oh, they're one of. Yeah, I thought so. Yeah, all I don't bids think it's were been confirmed con- by FIFA on the twenty fourth of April. Who You're else right, is in so. the running? Does it say Belgium, Germany, and the Netherlands? Okay, yeah, I remember South Africa's name being thrown about. South Africa, but I wasn't sure if it was confirmed Brazil? or not. Oh, <gasps> Brazil would, would be, be cool. cool. Mexico and the United States. I feel like they'll go to South Africa. I think they'll go the African route. Maybe. I mean, we've uh, done the US so many times. FIFA also like. Hi, Chloe. Oh, you're back. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> you're Do loving you this. <laughs> <laughs> that is a beautiful jersey. Wherever there's... She picked out the... Which one was it? This it one? was the Italy away jersey. I actually prefer the home. I prefer the home, to be honest. Where were we? Yeah, South Africa. I feel yeah. like they'll go South Africa. Something different. I we, think... We've done America. Well, so FIFA also love to promote the African... Well, football in Africa, so the African game. So, it, yeah, it... It's definitely viable that it's going to happen. So can you imagine, back to our point of like how far African women's football has come, you mm. even have Morocco now yeah. still potentially could be quarter-finalists. God, that would be, that would be the um, look, biggest... If they that would be pulled insane. off that, that would be a massive upset. I just upset. don't see it happening, though. And it was just there's something in the air in Morocco because their Men's World Cup, you saw what they did, and now the Women's World Cup in their first tournament as well. It'd be nuts. But back to what we're saying... African football, women's football has come so mm. far. If they were to get a World Cup in 2027, you'll see an African team with the contenders. Like, you'll get an African semi finalist the next World Cup. That is my prediction. Yeah, well, I guess if you look at Nigeria and how, how far they've gone, that's not really a wild no. prediction at all. Let's talk about Lauren James. So, we did at the top, but. She she literally, like you said, had a brain snap. She she just stomped on that Nigerian player. But it, it looks far worse in slow-mo, obviously, because everything does, those, but... We were chatting about it in the office. Pretty funny. A couple of people in the office were saying, it's like, if you're going to get sent off, like, what, what type of stamp was that as well? It was just so Yeah, silly. it was it very was subtle. Like, it was very... Um, Josh, do you want to get involved? Uh, you want to have your say on Lauren James? You, Josh oh, can't mate. find his laptop. Has, has anyone out there seen my laptop? <laughs> I'm sure like? they would know. It's 15 inches <laughs> and a rectangle. Well, that narrows it down. <laughs> Like every single laptop around here. I lose something once a day when I work here. Let's I say lost my keys Josh before. is the guru. Oh, Josh yeah, is the guru. He's, he's the like one the who runs. Pep Guardiola of Optus. Yeah, he makes everything happen here. Is that a fair thing? <laughs> yes, or, he is, or, is okay. I, or am I giving him too much praise? <laughs> I don't know, Pep Guardiola. Ooh, what do we think? The minds, like a... uh, maybe more Jose back into the Prem. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> His time's coming to an end. <laughs> No, no one can hear what Yes is saying. So Josh is the guru. He's the he's the mastermind. He's, he's the, the Pep Guardiola, as far as anyone's <laughs> concerned. <around> here, <laughs> over there, it's debatable. But anyway, <laughs> questions. I just wish Italy host this year, twenty twenty three. Host what? This World Cup. <laughs> a bit late for that. I <laughs> you know what the stadiums as well in Italy need a, a they, revamp. Like, they haven't been revamped since Italia ninety. The San Siro's falling apart. So if they were to get a major tournament, they need... Maybe that they need that cash injection then. Yeah, it'd be nice. It, obviously, it can't happen this year because it's happening here. There's so many... Here. Oh, no, there's so many... We want more stuff because we want a World Cup. Everyone wants a World exactly. Cup. Exactly. Let's talk about Ian Wright, who we did the say we goat. caught up with. And getting that interview with him was hard work, wasn't it? We had to ask a few times. We and did. then some other channels got it. And we were like, well, we're the well, host broadcaster of the Women's also, World Cup. it wasn't through his fault he wanted no, no, to talk no, to of us course but it was the people that are handling him and now what we've experienced on, on the road with media managers and stuff is it's probably one of the worst jobs I reckon you could do because it it's so you always say they're like referees you know referees in a fight they're, they're constantly jumping in and yeah. pulling them out well they've got to be like that you understand why it, you've got to be cut from a different I respect them it's a yeah. tough job but we saw it at press conferences but these guys Michelle so we finally get an interview with Ian right and this guy said oh you have one minute 
And to be fair, right, he straight away said, no, 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 take your he time. He was like, take your time. Yeah, he was very polite. But the guy had to stop watching as well. Insane. Michelle didn't see it. It was so funny. But the interview, Michelle, was great. Yeah, he was, he was great. And we even asked him about his time here in Australia, going to that day spa like we saw a few episodes back. And he was saying, I understand why people stay here. It's, it's fantastic. It's a great country. Also, we asked him about... Australia potentially taking on England in the semi-finals. Let's hear what you had to say about that. Just quickly, England against Australia potentially in the semi-final. How do you see that playing out? Well, you know, I, I, I don't want to comment on it simply because ideally, um, you know, I, I'd, I'd wait for that to happen. You know what I mean? Because it would be an unbelievable um, um, football match. But the fact is, is that I'm sure they've got they got Morocco or France, and I think we've got. Um, who, who, We've got Colombia or Jamaica. So you, you, as much as people would love to see that, um, you know, you, you can't look ahead of that. And I wouldn't, I wouldn't want to be, for want of a better word, arrogant to look past Jamaica, um, you know what I mean, and, and, um, and Colombia. Because Colombia, for me, have been playing, Colombia, I should say, <laughs> have been playing very, very well. And so too Jamaica. So we need to get to that first. You know what I mean? We need to get past that first. And so if that then comes where we get to play Australia, then, you know, we'll deal with that when it comes to it. Colombia. Colombia. <laughs> he emphasised on saying that right. But, yes, he doesn't want to be getting ahead of himself. But, I mean, after England's performance, you probably shouldn't. I think we can. <laughs> <laughs> no one's getting ahead of themselves. No, no. And they might not even be playing Colombia because Colombia played tonight against Jamaica. That game Jamaica be, could win. That will be scenes, it'll be colour. And whatever game you get in Jamaica... Their fans are great. That is going to be mm. at Homebush where we were last night. And it, I'm going to say, regardless of who's in there, if it's Colombia or Jamaica, they're going to fill that stadium. Yeah, yeah. I think you'll get 70 plus, which will be epic, epic, epic scenes. At the, so let's talk about Colombia, Jamaica tonight. That's being played in Melbourne. I mean, the Colombians travel wherever, so it really doesn't matter. It's always a home game for them. But. The only concern I have with Jamaica is that they haven't scored... Actually, they've only scored one goal. Their defence has been very strong. They've been very organised. But they haven't scored. They, they have to do. Getting through, parking the bus, mm. which you're not a fan of. Michelle is just all about that attacking football. I'm a little bit like, you got to do what you got to do. No, I'm joking. <laughs> <laughs> who knows? Maybe this game. Maybe this... Uh, you never, oh, it's, it's tough to say because even you know you're going to get to penalties and you, maybe they'll park the bus again. I don't think so. I think we were... You mentioned it a couple episodes ago. We haven't seen Bunny Shaw unleashed yet. No. We got that. She hasn't the, looked 100% as we well. We got that in yeah. the first game and then she was just getting... Every second touch, she was getting fouled and dragged down mm. and then she got sent off, of course. Yeah. And she, didn't, she hasn't looked 100% since. Yeah. Maybe this is the game where we can see... She finally comes into form. Just let off the hook. Hopefully. Hey, if they have to park the bus for 120 minutes and go to penalty shootout, the reggae girls will not care how they get there. The other thing is, though, that both of these teams have thrived as underdogs, Colombia more. It's and we two saw underdogs. It's Rocky yeah. Balboa versus Rocky Balboa. We, <laughs> we saw that when Colombia played against Morocco. They don't deal as well when they're playing teams that sit deep. Exactly, and where they're expected to be the dominant team as well and have a majority of exactly, the ball. And you saw yeah. that and they struggled. And of course, there was Morocco scored off a penalty. Uh, which was saved and then bundled back mm. in, but that's right. So it's going to be interesting to see Colombia coming into this game as the favourite. We'll probably have a majority mm. of the ball, and maybe that game against Morocco was a good, just a, a warm up for this game. Because yeah, I'm sure they would be learnings. surprised if Jamaica do just sit back and then who yeah. knows, maybe a bit of Bunny Shaw magic. But I can. It's a six o'clock escape. Oh, beautiful. Then I was going to say get ready for another late night, but no, it's a France Morocco one. That's a, a late football, one. Get ready for a football marathon because that could have 120. Yeah. That's got penalties written all over it. We can see we can see Heather's in the building. If she makes eye contact with us, she's coming our way. We'll get her on. We'll get her on. Get her on. The, the, the stars are starting to roll through as the, yeah, as the yeah. lights have turned off. He, yeah, just a, just a casual 130 of the best for the Matildas. <laughs> also Taekwondo. Yeah, CEO. Black belt now, so she'd, she'd mess you Does up. Does she have a black belt? Well, she's Heather. the CEO. Is she? Don't worry. She'd be. You, she's very much. You got out of line. She'd be. She'd put she, you back yeah, in place. Yeah. <laughs> she's very much deep in conversation, but I'm trying to like grab her. She, she will come over. I mean, she has to walk this way because wardrobe and yes. makeup is over there. So they all have to walk past us. Past us. No one's getting... You're getting the real BTS experience yeah. here. So I know the perfect time. What's going on on the screen? Oh, it's okay. It's oh, it's Bunny Shaw. Bunny Shaw warming up. Well, that's on the bottom. So what's on the top is live on Up to Sport and I then know, at the bottom is the feeds. There. So we're getting um, the warm-ups. 
at the moment. The other thing I wanted to say as well is, okay, France, Morocco. No one's giving Morocco a chance. They're not, are they? This morning, Emily Gelnick kept on saying that we're... Ke- she said it. She goes, we're, we're, we're play playing France. for France. Just yeah. put the pencil straight yeah. through Morocco. Yeah. Heather's popular. Everyone she, wants to she can't wants to talk two to her. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> we're like, <laughs> come over here. <laughs> we're like ready to talk to her. Hey, Jimmy. <laughs> Jimmy, the goat, another goat <laughs> at Optus Sport. All the we have is goats. Yeah. There's just goats yeah. everywhere here. We're just we're we're the we're the common folk. We're definitely yeah, not exactly. goats. Okay, she's coming. Okay, she's coming. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Nice little corduroy. Everyone's in the corduroy. Yeah, I've got that today as well. Yeah. I missed the memo. Heather. We've got a YouTube show right now. We're it's live. happening live. Go the Matildas. How yeah, good was that performance go. last night? Oh, it was so good. Keep it. Do you want to keep it? Yeah. Give us a bold prediction. Till he's gone all the way, it's a dumb question. Of course they are. Bold. That's not a bold that's prediction. A, I love it. Happening. The heavens have opened up for us. They have, haven't they? We've had Brazil stumble. We've had Germany, Germany. stumble. We've had England, looking England nearly shaky. stumble. stumble. Yeah. yeah. How good was the performance last night? You should have seen the atmosphere. Amazing. Oh. Before. Was it loud? It was louder. I was there too. It was louder in the stadium, I think, than what it sounded on TV. It was, the, it was. It was loud. loud. Oh, yeah, oh, I thought so too. I was pitch side. Yeah, I thought so too. Yeah, the problem is the ANZ. It's just it's not very acoustic. So everything just goes. All the cheers. Is it just ANZ? Go into is it? Is that Olympic Olympic Park Stadium? Stadium of Australia. Yeah. Leave the sponsors <laughs> out, mate. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a I'm bad as I'm a marketer's worst nightmare. Just you are. You are. <laughs> Enjoy the show, guys, with these two. Legends. <laughs> Thank you very much. Thank no, you. Enjoy so tonight. I'm about to get my mask on. <laughs> Do you think? <laughs> you don't need it. <laughs> Yay, we I finally got it. You didn't, you didn't need it, though. <laughs> <laughs> got to compliment the talent all the time. Always. Yeah, Always. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, so I'm France, Morocco. France are looking good. They're clicking into gear at the right time, but this will be the true test because it's knockout football now. It's, it's going to be tough for Morocco. And... Mo- People saying, ah, oh, France, you know, they conceded three goals against Panama. They weren't great. They rested their whole team. Mm. Wendy Renard didn't play. Like, first goal was in, it was one of the goals yeah. of the tournament as well. So that, that, that was a game for the fans. That yeah. was it. And Herb Renard wouldn't have been happy. Like, he, he looked filthy on the bench, mm. even when they were cruising in that yeah. game. But I'm getting worried about France because he even said when they played Australia in the friendly, he said, I'm not worried about this result one bit. This was great for my team. He's had, he's yeah. had what, three months with them? Yeah, and not very The only long thing really he'd be able to do is just get the vibe side because it was super toxic yeah. before he was there. Oh, yeah. And he had, he had Wendy Renard not wanting to play yeah. in France, which would have been a disaster. And Kadidio Diani as well, who scored a hat-trick her first She's World Cup goals in that last game. We forget some of the players that they have. Diani, who bangs in goals for fun in Liga. Les Sommers, one of the, we've used this word a lot, Goats. <laughs> they, they, they can score from anywhere. They've and from a set piece. Like Wendy Renard. I couldn't think of anything worse than trying to mark her. And we've got some tall timber at the back, but she's just on another. She's yeah. a cheat code. Can we talk about Morocco's coach? He's a quality coach. So Reynald Pedros. He won back-to-back Champions Leagues with Leon. So he's gonna have a. Bit he's. Of that a, intel. I reckon he's a tactical like mastermind. That could be maybe. He, maybe he's got something up his, his sleeve. He's French this himself. Yeah, there's a lot, lots of French Moroccans. Yeah. Herb Renard also coached the, the Moroccan In men's, men's team. team. Yeah, yes, so there's, there's a real that crossover. Little crossover. Yeah. And there's so, even the uh, coach of the Moroccan men's team was born in France. There's so much crossover yeah, yeah. between French and Moroccan culture. But maybe he's got something up his sleeve. Maybe this was his dream game as Tommy Sorensen. Oh, he's got Sorensen. Yeah, come, come join here, us. Come here. Come Everyone. join this. this, this. It's all the stars. We're going to have to extend this. This is going to have to go into extra we're time. We're live on YouTube. Yeah, 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 you, you come yeah, in the middle. Yeah, you come middle. over here. Oh, we're going to need a, a ladder. I think. <laughs> we're going to have to go like Thoughts on the game last night? Uh, you know what? Um, a little bit disappointed because I thought like Denmark started well, a lot better than I thought it would. They were on the front foot and they had those couple of couple chances. Chance, Penil had a couple of chances. It was when she sent a defender yeah. for a hot dog and then just... Now, I think it was the best game she's had. Like She really got on the ball. She was driving. And she had that chance where she was like right in the middle of the goal. I thought It's a different game if that goes in, isn't it? It is. And, and uh, I think Regan Matson had on the cross where she... Didn't quite direct it and missed the ball a little bit, but after that, I thought, you know, Australia was just more efficient, more sharp, and Katie Ford, what a, oh, what a yeah. difference she made. You know, that, just the quality, and that was what Denmark didn't have. Yeah. Same Mary Fowler as yeah. well. Yeah, other pass. Yeah, and I think the, I didn't realise in the game how good how it good was. The pass? Yeah, same. I think you I, see I, it I, I saw it this, you know, I saw it this morning, and fantastic. Yeah, now to the way she turned, got round, and then 
Perfect ball. Are you doing the France Morocco game tonight? I am, yeah. Okay, yeah. you're getting in there nice and early. I like it. You, you know need what? We need much, to be mate. prepared. Look, your hair's already done. What are you getting? You need this. Oh, you could just well, roll well, straight well, I'll in. Just roll out of bed. Yeah. <laughs> sure. Could we see an upset in that game, or do you think France are going to be too good? Ah, uh, you know, I, I don't think so. I, I think out of all the round of 16, for this me, is, is the one that is the most one-sided. You know, Morocco. I think they've done really well. But I think France will be too good. Uh, they've been there before, and I think just the quality will shine in this one. Yeah, no one's really giving Morocco a chance, but it's going to be so hard you know for them. You know, we've seen weird things. Yeah. Yeah. Crazy things in this yeah. So, so who knows? But Colombia, Jamaica. But that's going to be tight because, like Jamaica, you know, kept clean sheets. You know, we've got Set Kedisha up well Shaw, for a front, yeah. Spencer, the goalkeeper, has done well. So uh, Becky with the I've good actually hands. got a friend who's Colombian who's at the stadium in Melbourne and oh, you know, he's super be, pumped. And, that'll be pumping. But he's nervous, so he, there's no guarantees. No. <laughs> I feel like they're much more on par. You really don't know which way it's going to go compared to France, Morocco. Obviously, France are going in as heavy favourites. Yeah, for sure. And, you know, you, 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 just, you know, you just hope that you know, somebody has to come up with something. Both, both sides got individual quality and you, you just hope that one of them will step up and, you know, We've yeah. seen it already from, from both teams. Yeah. So. It's going to be a very good game. just want to say, win-win situation for you with the Matildas yeah. still going through? <laughs> yeah. You know, I've got an Australian passport. So, you know what, I'm, cla I'm, I'm, <laughs> I'm claiming it a bit, but you know what, you, you know, it, it's probably, you know, I said to, to the guys here, and for the tournament, we want the Matildas to go through all the way. And, yeah, if it's on the expense of, of the Danish team, you know that's what. Too, we, that's back-to-back -back tournaments now. Are they having nightmares of Australia and Denmark as men's? Sent them home. You know what? Let's, let's, <laughs> like, let's, let's talk about that. Like 10, 20 years before we play each other again. <laughs> All right, last one before we let you do your hair and makeup. Not that oh, yeah, it's a yeah, quick yeah. job anyway. It, yeah. From what you've seen, who wins this tournament? Just like, you who's impressed you the most? Japan. Yeah. I think, uh, you know, Mirasawa has, has been great. Fujino, the, the young player on the right hand side. And, and it's just players that have been under the same coach since they were 18, 19, played at under 20 World Cups and everything else. And you can just see that consistency. He can swap like five players in that team and they still play the same yeah. You know, so, so uh, yeah, the way they, you know, just they can change the tactics against Spain, how they sat back and just hit Spain on the counter or other, other games, they go and dominate. Well, they'll be hard to beat. They yeah, be. they're a scary one. Hopefully the Matildas can beat them in the I mean, final. Yeah, but it's not going to be too until the final, though. Exactly. You know, you'll take, exactly. you'll take, you'll take the Japan final. to the final. Yeah, who wouldn't? Yeah, yeah, of course. Tommy, do you think? Thank you so much. Thank you Andy. so much. Not that it's a big Great job for you. Look, yeah. You're a schmick. <laughs> Tommy very looking suave. good. I need, to, I need to up my game a little bit. I just got the Uniqlo shirt. <laughs> yeah, right, you need to start shopping some, where, yeah, where, where uh, Tommy is. He's very sharp. He looked like he just rocked. Like, it's a very, this is an extended episode, isn't it? This is an extended episode. it's worth it. We've got some comments because oh, we've okay. just been yeah, so we've just our been heads like, have been doing yeah, like yeah, a bit on a, mm. on a 360 swivel. All right, Jamaica's defense, yeah, a lot of a lot of love for Jamaica. To be honest, Jamaica has one of the top five defenses in the World Cup. Hard to argue with that. Well, I mean, yeah, the, it proves it. They haven't conceded a goal. Sure. Okay. Australia, Japan. I think that was when we asked Tommy the question, like, who's impressed you the most? Australia, Japan, Jamaican food. I've heard Jamaican I food is really say, good. I've never, I've never had it. Jambalaya? I'm, is I'm that Jamaican? Jambalaya? No? I, I feel like Jamaican food's very popular in England, isn't it? Yeah. In Jamaican yeah. community in England. Yeah, isn't yeah. It? I, I like it, all good Caribbean nations, I would have rice. That's for it. sure. It's very, uh, yeah. maybe it's jambalaya. I don't know. Yeah. That's something I've got to try. If anyone knows in the comments, any yeah, good Jamaican. I don't know any Jamaican places in Sydney. There's I feel like there might be one in the north. I think I've heard of one. We'll come back to you tomorrow. Here Maybe we, we could do an episode said, from that. Someone just tagged Claude's, the host of the Daily Kickoff. Is he? Where is he? Oh, there he. Oh, he commented. He commented. He's doing a job. Oh, he was on our screen. Yeah, he and was. He's commented as well. What a back three that is. I tell you what, that back three right there is not conceding many goals. Tommy Sorensen, you and me are centre. What type oh, of so centre back? Are you? And what type of centre back are you? Are you I ball never, playing? I never. Or? But I never played as a defender. Okay. You're just a... I was El a striker. Magical. You're so magical. <laughs> yeah. magica. Ma La, La magica. La magica. Yeah. <laughs> uh, here we go. Yeah, Strip Bear the Goat telling people to jerk chicken. Okay. Yes, I have heard of that. For okay, sure. jerk chicken. I definitely And Paul is, a, is saying it's yeah, good. He's giving it's us the very of approval. Good. Yeah, yeah. If anyone knows any places in Sydney, Jamaican, yeah, you've got to try them know. out. Yeah, so we can go there. Should we... I don't quickly... Want to, I don't want to go. I don't want to go anywhere. <laughs> Guys, also, Strip Bear has been telling you in the comments, but... 
but Strip Bear is doing Strip Bear's God's work yeah, in Bear. the comments. Strip Bear, if you are watching, which I know you are, where are you from? Because I don't think Strip Bear's from Australia? Australia, which makes it even more impressive. Yeah, global audience. That he That'd be cool. or she is tuning in from the other side of the world. There's so much yeah, going yeah, on. Yeah. Matilda's jersey's rolling through. That's that Tilly's <laughs> fever. Well, let's talk about, just quickly, Friday's games because we've got a couple of days of rest. We do, a couple of well-earned rest yes. days. Anything planned? Well, there's, yeah, I'm going to go watch Barbie. Ooh, I'm actually going to do the same oh, on Thursday night. I'm booking myself in. I'm going to do Barbie on Thursday with my girlfriend, yeah. who's already watched it, and now I'm going to do Oppenheimer She's on She's going to watch it again. She's going to watch it again. She oh. really liked it. Oh, yeah. So I'm very excited for that. Yeah. And Oppenheimer on Sunday. Yeah, so much to watch at the moment. So Spain, Netherlands, Ooh. 11 a.m. East Australian Damn. Eastern Standard Time because it's in New Zealand. Spain it never is. left New Zealand, which I'm really annoyed about. I would have liked to have I seen. I think they're back in Wellington. As well, I think that game is in Wellington. Oh, they don't like being there. They do not like Wellington. <laughs> Anyone from Wellington, I'm sorry, but the Spanish, they, they did not like it. There. They need to come here. This is where it's at. Well, the next well, they semis will. then yeah. on that side is in Auckland. I so we're to, not going to see them till the final if they ever, make it. Yeah. I think Spain are going to be the really? Netherlands. I feel like the Dutch are going to do it. Nah, I reckon Spain. I think the Dutch are just a well-oiled machine. Weren't, like they, were, they looked a little bit shaky, but South Africa would be tough to, to contain. Like the They Netherlands gave Sweden a, problems. I feel like against... South Africa, they looked far more pragmatic. They got the job done. Yeah, which is what I like to see in tournament football. Yeah, we've. Yeah, they're, they're, we're I think they're going yeah, like, to get the job done. I'm going to say, oh, okay, because the next time we go live, that game will be over. So I'm going to give a prediction time. Okay, I'm going to yeah, say yeah. Uh, Netherlands 2 1. Okay, I'm going to say Spain 2 1. Oh, okay. I was going to say just 2 0, but. Nice and easy. Here we go. Oh, there's Aaron. Aaron. The big boss just rolling through. <laughs> Gives us a thumbs up. Then Japan, Sweden. I mean, Ooh. Japan. I mean, Sweden like scrapes through. Yeah. Sweden, apart from that demolition. Eventually. Actually, Musevich. Sorry, I was you out of this what world. You were saying. She <laughs> was so good. Yeah. Do you see the videos of her when she shook hands with the American goalkeeper like, at the end of the shootout? Because there was the whole kerfuffle mm. with get across the line. She finds out across the line. Shakes her hand and just lets out the biggest. Yeah. <laughs> what a goal kick. Like, what, she, one oh, of the, she's she, she doesn't, she's got to go somewhere where she's playing week in, week out. She's yeah. back up she's at Chelsea. She's number two at Chelsea, she's which crazy. is insane. So, uh, in saying that, I think her tournament will come to an end against Japan. I think even her at <laughs> absolute best won't be able to stop this no, Japanese too clinical. machine that keeps on rolling through. I'm going to say Japan. Sweden have not looked very impressive, but maybe this is the game where they shock everyone. They weren't great mm. against I reckon the it'll US. be 3-0 Japan. I'm going to go 2-0 Japan. Yeah. yeah, I think it's in the back for Japan. Well, what an episode. What an episode. We had so got, many superstars. We have. We've been joined yeah. by internationals, male yeah. and female. We've spoke, whole we, you got you got a tour of the kitchen. Studio. The studio. Guys, we'll get a couple quick more comments in. Japan look unstoppable. Yeah, they certainly do, don't they? Optus Sports All Star match. Someone has said, "Ooh, we should have that." We should. Today have was that. kind of like an All Stars episode. You got a Everyone. little bit of like a. We we got the talent. A we got the side. producers. We got Josh. Yeah. Everyone. Where would you play? What position? If you were in there, if there were two teams, Optus All Stars were going at it. What position are you playing? Oh, uh, right wing. A bit of pace. Yeah, I'm not even fast. You're, just like, you're like a Pedro type <laughs> winger. You're touch. You're that like, crafty. Yeah, I feel like I have more of a football mind. Someone that can be like... Okay. Like an old school kind of throwback footballer. Yeah, like yeah. La, Ma Where La would Matica. You? La I'm Mahica. at the back. I'm at the at back. back. You're a defender. Yeah. Uh, not okay. a very good one. But just you slap me. But Claude's is my centre back. He can just mop up all the... Every time someone <laughs> runs past me and I'll just keep it real simple. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. I mean, that, we, we've got to speak to our bosses about that. And all stars yeah, Paul match. Was my, Paul would just sit right in front of me. He's a six. He's a six. nah. No, no, he's like he's no. Right back, oh, he's a right okay. Back. Well, you, <laughs> you know what they say about right and left backs. Yes, has turned around. He wants to. Yeah. So where are you playing? Yeah. Where are you playing? Left, right, Motor out. Motor boy. He left said. Right the motivator. Your locker room character. You need he's that. He's a Martin Boyle. <laughs> yeah, you need that. <laughs> Hype man. All right, guys, so we're going in our two rest days. We're going to get some rest, but we're also going to be cooking up that Optus also. We're, we're, we're going to take that to the yeah, higher Yeah, yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll make football. that happen. Yeah, we'll make that happen for sure. All right, should we sign off? We, we, should we really sign don't want to go today. Into, maybe this, oh hey guys, this maybe is a world this, record for us. this is a crystal ball of what's to come tonight, but enjoy the two games. You know where to catch it, on the home of football, Optus Sport, and we will see you after two very well-earned rest days on Friday. See you then. Ciao.